Hey, <clears throat> it's Renee with Cancer Size with Renee B. And I'm definitely feeling those push-ups that we did yesterday. So, yeah, anyway, welcome to day three of the January 15th challenge. We are going to be doing some standing work for our butt, okay? Technically, you know, it's got a more technical name than that, but that's what it is. It's our booty workout today. So that means lunges, squats, and things like that. Balance, okay? So, but, um, but, <laughs> no buts about it. Um, no, I'm going to grab a pair of light weights, though, and hold them to add a little extra resistance to make the balancing a little more challenging, which will then in turn make everything in your body work, and that's why we're warming up our arms, too. So, yeah, I did those, I tried to do those push-ups yesterday, and I totally uh, turned at work, and then it felt like I cracked a rib on my lung, and I don't know, it's just that chest muscle that's just, you know, it's still healing from the reconstruction surgery, so it'll be a little while. We'll get there. I'll get there. So I knew today was going to either be a leg day or a crunch day for sure. But we'll add, let's sneak a little arms in there with the uh, light weights when we're doing our, our stuff. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit of an hour thigh thing going on. That's good. Still have a whole, whole gut, whatever. Okay, grab some like two, three, five pound weights, nothing too heavy. And we're gonna use them just to kind of uh, keep ourselves balanced and add resistance and a little extra workout without doing anything, okay? Um, so we're gonna start with a forward lunge. I want you to step forward as far as you can. Your back foot is up on your toes. Knees are pointing forward. And you're just dropping that back knee down to the ground. More three, two, one. Now stay here, okay? And I want you to go down and I want you just to hold it. Breathing. Abs are engaged. Shoulders relaxed. All right. Shake it up. Step back. Now, we're going to do the reverse lunge, okay? So the leg you just step forward with, I want you to step all the way back with. And we're just going to hold it here, all right? Now we're going to flip it down. same motion, right? And it pretty much is, but uh, it's just funny because you can step forward, step back, step forward. Okay, this side we're doing uh, 15, okay? So we switched our legs on the stepping forward. much because it takes all my concentration not to fall over. <laughs> all right, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs together. Now step back with that same leg. We're going to do ten. Two more. Last one. Line up. 
shake it out. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do chair squats. Chair squats are when our feet are together, knees are pointing forward, knees don't go past your toes. Okay, booty goes all the way back. Keeping your shoulders straight. Here we go, ready? Two, and one. All right. Now we're going to do um, <coughs> more squats. This time we've got to feet a little bit apart with our hip distance, so just under your hip is what that means. Toes are going to be pointing forward, okay? Same thing, you're just squatting with your butt going all the way back, like such. Toes can move off the ground, so you can find a little room. All my weight beneath my heels and my balance in there. Wait, see how the weight just gave you a little extra resistance. If you need to work on your balance a little more, all good things. I had the news on, I was checking the weather. It's 29 degrees right now. And not only am I checking the weather, I wait for a road report. It's the time of year where I start leaving for work like 20 minutes earlier. Just in case. Let's do five more. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. I'm not done with squats. Sorry, guys. Now we're going to do sumo squats. That means we turn our toes and knees out facing one direction. Each facing the same direction, obviously. <coughs> Hold the weights in the middle. Go on your hips, go on your shoulders comfortable for you and we squat straight up and down this time don't push your booty back you just want to go straight up and down like you're in between two walls okay Breathing, got a flat core in, all those abs in. Shoulders relaxed. Keep going. Got one more here. Four, three, two, one. Now hold it here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep breathing, breathing, breathing. So you know what's coming up next, right? Okay, I want you to lift one heel. And squat, squat. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. 
here. And switch it. Squats. Ooh, balance. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, all right. Check it out, check it out. We're going to do some calves here, and then we're going to be done. Feet together, keep up on your toes, and all the way back down, okay? Knees slightly bent, abs are in. I want you to go pigeon toed, toes pointing together, knees slightly bent, abs are tucked in, heels up. Two, one. All right, one last. Heels together, still coming up on our toes. Knees slightly bent, dabs in. Feeling that? Hope so. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, shake it out, bend those knees, put those weights down, and let's stretch it out. Heel down, toe up, stretching out the back of that calves that we just worked. They should be feeling it. If not, do more. <laughs> Again, switch it out. It was one of my favorite exercises to do right after my mastectomy was that one, um, because I took a lot of the chair and just slowly let my calves out. And I would go outside on my little porch and have a little fresh air, even though it was in the dead of winter. But you're so uh, confined in your bed and confined to your limited motion, movement and stuff after all the surgeries. Breathe up. I want you to bend over and touch your toes. That felt good. You want to feel that stretch all in the back of that leg that we just worked with all those squats. Felt good to be outside, even if it was gray and cold. Because, like I said, confined your bed and shoulders. And let's just work again. We're going to stretch and tuck our toes one more time. Up and over. Knees slightly bent. Just want to feel that stretch in the back of your legs. And one more time, breath. Go take a squat and breathe. One more. Thanks for joining me for day three of the January 15th challenge. Um, yeah, you know, stretch those legs out a little more if you need to stretch a little more. Um, you guys are listening to your body, so you know you can do more or less. You know what you can do, okay? Or two times around, whatever. Um, you're talking to your doctor. You have permission to do the workouts we're doing because you don't want to, if it's too soon after your surgeries, you don't want to do that. If you're doing chemo, do them. Do them as best as you can. Beat the fatigue. You're hydrating. Drink lots and lots of water. It keeps you moving. Keeps everything moving inside of you. Keeps the chemo drugs getting through you and killing those stupid cancer cells that we're fighting against. Number four, most important, which I forget sometimes, you're worth it. And you know why? Because you are stronger. You are stronger. I'm stronger. You're stronger. Cancer sucks. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, have a great day.